year one. This is Mrs Ellis. I am going to go through a lesson with you today and we are going to think about can you recognise and use an exclamation mark? Now I know that a lot of you have been able to recognise this piece of punctuation from lots of your reading that you've been doing recently and you are getting really really good at spotting different types of punctuation now that you're getting towards the end of year one but we need to start to think about being able to use it in our writing as well and using it in the correct way. So we need to think about the same as when we use full stops and the same as when we use question marks, just to make sure that we are thinking about, we know why we're using an exclamation mark and making sure that it's effective. That means that making sure that we're using it to the best that we can. So thinking about being able to recognise an exclamation mark, it's going to come at the end of our sentence and it's going to show either something to show surprise. So there might be something that is surprising about the sentence that you're writing. It might be to add emphasis. That means that you are trying to make a point with your sentence. So you really want to draw somebody's attention to what it is that you're writing. It might be to show strength. You want your sentence to be very strong and powerful. Or it might be to show shouting. So if you're reading a sentence, when you are getting to be a really good reader now in year one, you will notice that you need to start using your voice in different ways. So when we see a, an exclamation mark, it's telling us to raise our voice a little bit because it's showing us that there is some shouting in the reading that is happening. And that is why you might use it in your writing to show that a character is shouting in in the p in the sentence that you're writing or the piece of writing that you're that you're putting together so can we find some examples of exclamation marks i put three sentences here together and um, i hope that you can spot straight away where my exclamation marks are because we know to have a look for those at the end of our sentences so i'm going to say these for you so the small mole ate all the cake so maybe have a think about why I've used an exclamation mark in that sentence. Do we think it's because somebody's shouting? Do we think it might be because I'm trying to make a point? Is it to show strength in my sentence? What do we think it might be? I think I've used an exclamation mark there because I want to make a point. Um, that, that This little mole has eaten all of this cake. Can you believe it? My next sentence, the boy climbed to the top of the tree. Now, I, in this sentence, when I was putting it together, this is a very little boy in the story, and it would be very surprising that he could climb to the top of a very tall tree. So I've used my exclamation mark to show surprise. The boy climbed to the top of the tree. And this next one here, the mole fell in the river. Oh my goodness me. Now, here, I've used my exclamation mark to show surprise again or to, to make a point. The mole fell in the river. Can you believe it? So here, what I've done, I would like you to have a look at this picture and I would like you to think about a sentence that you could write using an exclamation mark. So you can see here that the little boy and the mole are looking at the fox and they are looking at the fox because he is caught in a trap and that trap is called a snare so he's caught in some wire so I wonder if you could write your own sentence using an exclamation mark now don't forget to use say write check say your sentence out loud have a go at writing it thinking about your capital letters your finger spaces and think about why you are using your exclamation mark at the end now, when you've checked it back over, does it make sense for you for you to be using an exclamation mark? If it doesn't, have another go at a different sentence. Now, these are my sentences that I've come up with. So I've used my exclamation marks here. The fox was getting hurt. So it's a little bit worrying that the fox is stuck in this trap, in this snare. So I have made an exclamation, a bit of a, oh my goodness me, I can't believe he's getting hurt. So that's why I've used my exclamation mark here for to make a point. And the boy couldn't believe his eyes, exclamation mark at the end there, because I've written a sentence where I've thought well, the boy might be a little bit surprised to see this animal trapped in, the, in this snare. And he couldn't believe what was happening in front of his eyes. 
So two different reasons that I've used my exclamation mark there. So just check over your sentence and just think, why have you used your exclamation mark? Does it make sense in your sentence? Now, another way to use exclamation marks is to either give a command to somebody. So we might say, sit down. And we might write that with an exclamation mark if we were writing that down. Or it might be because you want to, to say something um, and really make a point of it. So what a lovely pie that is. What fun. We're going on holiday. Or go away is another command that you could give. And you would use an exclamation mark if you were writing that down. So these are just some different ways that you can use an exclamation mark. So thinking about not just the ways that I've said before about showing um, strength or making a point or showing surprise. It might also be that you are giving an order or it might be that you are wanting to use it to make a real point with your sentence. You need to check those over just to make sure that you are making sense when you were using that exclamation mark. Right then, year one, this is your challenge now. So thinking about, can you effectively use exclamation marks in your own writing? So we are going to think about now you writing five of your own sentences using an exclamation mark. So I want you to really, really think about your sentence, make sure that your sentence needs an exclamation mark, and then check them over. There is also a lesson on YouTube this week thinking about how we can say right check our sentences as well so that might be really useful for you to check out to help with that as well so when you've written your sentences just have a think about what is the reason you've used that exclamation mark in your sentence and does it make sense is it the most effective way is it the best thing that you could use it at the end of your sentence rather than a question mark or a full stop good luck <laughs>